Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Ted Lasso. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Angela and I am starting my journey of Ted Lasso. I have heard so many good things about this and all of my friends and the majority of my family have been like, you have to watch Ted Lasso. You have to watch Ted Lasso. And I've been excited for a couple different reasons. And it's just like the, the, what I know, like the, the big three would be that Jason Sudeikis is in it. And I absolutely adore Jason Sudeikis. Everything that he does, I think is hilarious. And he seems very warm and endearing uh, from the pictures that I've seen with the mustache. Uh, seems like a very warm guy. Uh, so excited about that. Uh, Bill Lawrence, he's responsible for giving me scrubs, the one thing that probably shaped so much of my humor and, and a lot of the, the comedy that I love and adore. Uh, I think that I'm, I'm able to laugh out loud because of scrubs. Um, it like allowed me to have belly laughs when I was watching something. And, uh, when I'm having a bad day, I'll just turn on scrubs and it's depending on the episode, but for the most part, it's just so uplifting and it just makes me feel better. Uh, and then three, I heard, I think, that Zach Braff directed an episode or a couple episodes. I don't know if he's also a writer. Um, I think Zach Braff is just, he's brilliant, whether he is acting, whether he's writing, he can make a playlist like it's nobody's business. Uh, so I'm happy about those three things. Now, there's two things that I also know uh, that, that it's about a men's soccer team, which I'm not upset about. I don't really watch a lot of soccer, but when I do, I'm not mad. I can't. I've also heard from a lot of people that I will enjoy Roy Kent. Don't know who that is. Um, but uh, it was, uh, I think, oh God, what movie was it? Mm, I keep wanting to say Hercules. No, uh, he was Hercules at the end of Thor. That that's the same guy that plays Roy Kent, which doesn't tell me anything. And I don't remember what he looks like. I don't remember what his voice sounded like. So <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm excited to get into this. I'm excited to uh, see what all the hype is about, but mostly I'm just excited to feel good. And I've heard that this show makes you feel good. So let's get into it. Yeah. Ooh, starting out with some music. Ooh. See, the legs on soccer players, men and women, hopefully we get a lot of slow-mo muscle shots of, like, quads popping. Uh, hi. Rupert and I bought this on our fifth anniversary. Do you want it? Oh. It's a hockney. It must be worth a million pounds. Good point. You should have said yes. <laughs> Aww, you silly man. So, um, Mrs. Mannion. Oh, she gets the bozos? Are they calling the soccer team bozos? Whatever it is, you need to get off your impressive chest. Let me have it. Of course. You're fired. <laughs> oh, there you right. go. And I'll be buying out the remainder of your contract, so wish you the best of luck. I think that's a good choice. I don't like them anyway. You insist on wearing those tiny shorts that force me to see one of your testicles. Don't and show where's it. the other one? Okay. Liam and Noel. Or perhaps <laughs> not an oasis. Still, if I'm being completely honest, George, you're fired because I'm the owner now and I don't like you. Good reason. Now do piss off, you fat twat. I like her. I like her. <laughs> Is there someone that could pop out and fetch me a salad? Nothing with raisins in it, please. Fuck you. <laughs> For a lot of us, that's not how Ted Lasso found his way into our hearts. For me, it'll always be Ted. <laughs> celebrating a moment of joy with his team in a way that you really have to see to understand. I love it. You see it. <laughs> I don't necessarily know that understanding is, is what we're doing. You don't have to understand it. He was celebrating. I'm already loving Ted's energy. You coaching football, mate. You are a legend for doing something so stupid. I mean, it's mental. They're gonna fucking murder you. Well, you know, I've heard that tune before, but here I am still dancing. Legend. Yeah. He Okay, so he's Southern and he's gonna go coach in Australia? Come on, hit me with a bun pack. 
They don't say out of bounds, they say into touch. Okay, you owe me five bucks if I sneak that into a sentence later. You're on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did he leave his family? Next thing you know, they're handing out warm chocolate chip cookies in the plane's land. I didn't get cookies. Did you eat mine? That's not part of the story. I think this is us right here. <laughs> he ate that cookie, didn't he? Yeah. There you go. Oh, so it's not in Australia. It's in England. Why did I think Australia? Hey, what's your name, by the way? Me? Yeah. No one ever asked my name. Oh. Aww. But Ted is. Tell him. Yeah, I mean, whenever you're ready. Oh, uh, it's Nathan. Nathan. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Hey, love your hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Oh, good, good. You, you all got Nathan's hot dogs here? No. Okay. No. Love this kid. Love him. Hello. Hi. I'm Nathan. Here's Ted Lasso. Is she scary or something? Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm Ted Lasso, your new coach. You must be Miss Welton. No, oh, please call me Rebecca. Miss Welton's my father. If that's a joke, I love it. If not, I cannot <laughs> wait to unpack that with you. <laughs> How do you take your tea? Well, usually I take it right back to the counter because someone's made a horrible <laughs> mistake. But we're in Rome, right? <laughs> yeah. Earl Grey's the yeah. best. I love hey. tea. Mm. You know, I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh -huh. No, thank you. <laughs> now look at this fellow up here. <laughs> with the girls and the champagne and everything. He looks like a good time. That's my ex-husband. Well, good times aren't always a good time, I've found. <laughs> so, we'll need you to speak to the press. Oh, yeah. No, after a couple nights good sleep, I'll be happy to do so. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, th I thought you knew. They're ready for you now. They're what? Oh, he has not slept. He seems really sweet, so hopefully it'll just be, like... Down home, rootin' tootin' kind of goodness. <laughs> Did not expect fizzy water there, sorry. <laughs> Look at this oh, twat! Bubbly. Fucking yank! Okay, so, uh, hey. Yeah, he's not a twat, but he's definitely a yank. I know that AFC Richmond is gonna go out there and give you everything they got for all four quarters. Abs. What was that? Abs. Two abs. Oh, right, sorry. Even I know halves. that. Yeah, they're gonna give you everything they got for two halves, win or lose. Or tie. Right, y'all do ties here. Sorry, that's going to take some getting used to for me, okay? <laughs> All right, you can ask me anything. No topic will be in too touch. All right, one final question. <laughs> you can use it in a sentence. Is this a fucking joke? <laughs> Thank you, Trent. I love journalists. I mean, that's not nice. Uh, well, yeah, you got Ronaldo and uh, the fellow that bends it like himself. Fucking dick. <laughs> oh, boy. What's it called? Oh, the poor Ted. The hands in the, uh, by the net. He doesn't deserve any of this. Don't chug it. You're going to burp. <laughs> Richmond are changing the way we do things. And from now on, that way is the lasso way. I like it. I like it. Thank you so much. Now everyone give Ted a nice hug. Man, he deserves and, uh, it. Sorry for spitting on all your stuff up here. <laughs> See, I'm fine when there's no bubbles. You know, I can do that all day. <laughs> oh, okay. Can't keep a gaffer from his pitch. <laughs> you can say that again. What? Okay. I am over. What's that mean? <laughs> Coach Lasso is just what we need. Oh, he's an absolute wanker. I know. Uh, oh. Pardon? I hope he fails miserably. <laughs> I want him to feel like he's been fucked in the arse with a splintered cricket bat, just in and out, over and over, in a constant loop, like a gif. That's <clears throat> correct. Uh, though some people um, pronounce it Don't you gif. dare. It's gif. It's gif, because you if you put a T on the end, it's gift. Eyes on the man you're marking, come on! Ooh, who is that? Wow. Roy Kent. 
team captain, classic old school box to box midfielder. That's who I'm supposed to like? You continue to impress, Nathan. You remember the name. Oh. Holy smoke, did you see that? That fella looked like a kitty cat when he gets spooked by a cucumber. Who the heck is that? <laughs> James Tart, <laughs> top scorer on the team. Fuck off. Oh. Nate, oh, what's he dick. like? Oh, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's great. You know, football. <laughs> well, I mean, he must be from England, yeah? Wales. Is that another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? <laughs> Four. <laughs> kind of like America these days. He's not wrong. I'm so happy for Nathan, but I'm I'm kind of shocked. I've already forgotten her name. How did I forget her name? But she's mean. I don't like her intentions. Oh, be nice to Nathan. I'm supposed to like him? Captain Eyebrows? Is everyone in here decent? Oh, boys, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, who are you? Am I interrupting you? No, no, that's yeah. okay. Just gonna watch your ass. Fuck off. <laughs> watch it and weep. Ugh. It doesn't surprise me, though. You've had a heck of a career. Thank you. Never thought it would end being coached by Ronald fucking McDonald. Oh, God. Not a fan. You gonna let him call you that? I, I don't think he was referring to me. He thinks he's mad <laughs> now. Wait till we win him over. He'll be furious. <laughs> oh no. Is he putting up handmade signs? That's adorable. <laughs> Is he gonna censor it? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Oh. oh shit, I'm sorry, are you alright? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. This girl is so annoying. But I do beatbox alright. <laughs> I never know how to react when a grown man beatboxes in front of me. I hope you never Neither run do into I. this marquee. <laughs> alright. <laughs> I know that there'll be elements to this little adventure that will weigh on you a bit, but uh, I'm sure it won't be harder than it was to sneak all Rupert's women in and out behind my back all those years. Well. Yep. You owe her. <laughs> but not to bring down Ted. I've never been to England and I've always wanted to go. I feel like their little apartments would just be super cute. Hey, big guy. How you doing? How's school today? Right. I just want to hear your voice. Yeah. Yeah, go do your thing. Yeah. Hey, hey, is your mom there? No. Okay. Yeah, I love you too. No. Yeah, you and the little guy gotta get on over here. Come check it out. But I mean, that, that's what I'm doing, though. I'm giving you that space. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, myself. Right. I love you. No, 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 that's okay. You don't have to. Look. Yeah. Mm. Going through hard times at home, and now he's uh, another country away. No, I can't sleep. <laughs> Bismarck Key flying at the end. <laughs> Okay, as far as the introduction to Ted goes, he is absolutely wonderful. He is just uh, be still my heart. He's kind of the southern gentleman that uh, that you 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 think is a little hokey, maybe a little uh, cheesy, but I think he's actually pitch perfect. Um, he's just so enjoyable and adorable and so sweet. And the ending with you know having the conversation with his wife and apparently not all is good at home and. That's upsetting because he seems so wonderful. Um, granted, you know, everyone has their thing, but um, he just seems like 
he's very positive and he's happy and he's kind of happy go lucky. Um, I, I, I adore him. Now it's really interesting. Everybody said that I would love Roy Kent and from first impression, not so much. Uh, I'm going to watch the other episode here next, but, uh, I, I can't tell you that, um, I like him all that much. Yeah, maybe he'll grow on me. Uh, there's a couple people I, I'm already kind of forgetting their names. There's the guy with the, like the flowery jumpsuit that I'm not very fond of. Uh, I think his girlfriend's name is Keely. Uh, at first I was kind of like, oh my God, she's so annoying. And then I was like, oh, she's actually kind of cute. Um, I, I don't know if she's going to be like a, a reoccurring character every episode, but I thoroughly enjoy her. And then with Rebecca, um, I don't really dig her. At first I was like, I feel bad for her. I like her vibe. I like how, you know, she's like giving the old manager the old heave ho and is kind of calling him out for being a misogynist, among other things. I was like, oh, I really dig her. I really like her. I like her style. One thing that I'm not liking is that she is hoping for Ted's downfall and I'm hoping for uh, him to win it all. Now, th I know that there are three seasons of this show, so I don't know, maybe, uh, I, I don't assume that they're going to win anything, but I feel like he's going to improve the team, at least a little bit, that's going to keep him around, uh, probably much to her dismay. And then there's Higgins, who, you know, seems like he's in a rock and a hard place because he genuinely wants to do right by Ted because he seems like a genuinely nice guy. Um, and then, of course, he's terrified of Rebecca. It seems like everybody's terrified of Rebecca. I mean, I get it. She seems like a force to be reckoned with. I don't think I would be terrified of her. I don't know. I feel like when people are like that, they're they're hiding like something that's broken inside. Um, so I, I, I feel like uh, there's pieces of her that have been going through something that uh, we might see unravel, uh, break, unfold, all of those things. Um, the guy at the flowery suits, his name was Jamie. I did look it up. And uh, yeah, he seems like what do they say? A doft prick or a moron or a schmuck. Um, maybe not a prick. I don't know. He, he didn't seem nice. And Nathan didn't seem like he had something nice to say about him. Um, and Nathan is the one name that I'm going to remember for forever. And I love how Ted treats him. Now, Coach Beard, like he doesn't have much to say, but, you know, he um, he's got a lot writing on this as well. I mean, Ted being a manager, he's not coaching the game. And I, I, we haven't gotten into whether or not Coach Beard even knows anything about the game. I don't know how they know each other, if it's from American football or if he actually knows anything about, I guess, actual football, soccer. Y'all know. But so I'm looking forward to getting into the second episode and just kind of seeing where they kind of leave everything uh, with Ted and his wife, with Coach Beard. Uh, the, they're, they're probably going to start their official day working at the football club. Um, I'm I'm nervous for him because I feel like no one's going to treat either one of them with the respect that they I don't know if they deserve. But like with the the kindness and compassion that you should so, show somebody who is new to something like this. Uh, I, I don't think that that's going to be something that our footballers will will be doing, but uh, I'm I'm going to hope for the best. I <laughs> expect the worst. <laughs> okay, guys, episode two, let's get into it. Yeah, How'd you sleep, Teddy? I bet not well. Oh, <laughs> you gotta break that stuff up. Like a pop tart. Orange coach. Orange coach. You wanna grab some breakfast? No, I just had one piece of cereal and I'm pretty stuffed. Could go for coffee. Long <laughs> <laughs> time to take a drink. Bet you she will. Hell yeah. Sometimes the best way to stick it to the man is go right between his legs, huh? <laughs> we gotta go, coach. Yeah. Knock a doodle do. Oh. <laughs> That's adorable. I brought you a little something. Oh, yeah. Cookies. <laughs> or as y'all call them here, biscuits, right? Go ahead, take a nibble. That's it. She had a strict Way diet. Fuck me. <laughs> Where did you get these? You know what? I'll start bringing these to you every morning. Call no. biscuits with the boss. That really isn't necessary. That's how somebody gets fat. Okay. You're going to show up tomorrow with biscuits, aren't you? Oh, come on now. I would not bet on that. <laughs> I, would. I mean, unless you want to win a buttload of money. <laughs> High five, tree. Woo! Yeah! 
I hope she feels so guilty for what she's trying to do to him because he is so damn likable. There's no way she'd keep doing it. Or maybe she will and I'll hate her, but I don't think so. She seems redeemable. They call cleats boots. Mm. I thought you said that the trunk of a car was a boot. Also a boot. Hold Cute. on now. If I were to get fired from a job where I'm putting cleats in the trunk of my car. You got the boot for putting boots in the boot. Because <laughs> <love> <laughs> this spot here is where Sam died. Mm, I like Sam. Sam. Oi, <laughs> walk away, you little prick. All right, granddad, to keep your wig on. <laughs> Coach, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what the happiest animal on earth is? No. It's a goldfish. Oh. You know why? No. No. It's got a 10 second memory. Oh. Be a goldfish, mm -hmm. Sam. Yeah. Just forget, you'll be happy, apparently. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead. <laughs> We're gonna have to do something that not cheer you him up, right? <laughs> yeah, don't repeat that. You still laughing at stuff you don't think is funny, huh? I'm not always sure what's a joke oh, and what isn't. Directed by Zach Braff. Yay. Blah, blah, blah. What's the first concert you ever saw? With George. <sighs> not you, you garden gnome. Oh. He wants us to get together every morning to get to know me and hear what I've got to say. The nerve. <sighs> I mean, the man is relentless. <laughs> <and> nice. <laughs> Everywhere he's been, his players seem to love him. It's one thing that's just mucked this up. Is that he's a nice guy. Yeah, it would just muck it up for you, wouldn't it? Hello, Miss Watson. Oh, poor Higgins. Find out when Lasso got those biscuits. <laughs> Watch out, biscuits. Higgins is on the case. <laughs> oh, poor Higgins. So I asked Nate here to make us a good old fashioned suggestion box. Aww. Look at that. Yeah, I did it with my niece. She loves crafts. Uh huh. Yeah, I love glimpses into your personal life. It's lovely. Cute. So, sound good? Hey, right. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow. It's gonna be full of stupid shit. We've lost three or four, and you wanna know if the snacks in the locker room are tasty enough? Are they? Jesus Christ. Roy, be nice. Uh, they are not. Of course, Jamie. Oh. <clears throat> uh. Somebody coming? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time to wait, Taylor. <laughs> what would you rather be, a lion or a panda? I don't have time for this. Okay. <laughs> Ted? Gotta go panda. Are you mad? Pandas are fat and lazy and have piss-stained fur. What's black and white and red all over? I don't know what. A panda that gets anywhere near a fucking lion. The answer is lion. As a Leo, I agree. Hey, Jamie, what would you rather be, a lion or a panda? Coach, I'm me. Mm -hmm. Why would I want to be anything else? Oh, I'm not sure yeah, you realize yeah. how psychologically healthy that actually is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo what are you talking about? Yeah, these are I don't know how often. Do not try to make it seem like he's having an affair with that girl. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else we got. Piss off, wanker. I hope you choke on a Big Mac. Good thing these are anonymous. No, Roy signed that one. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Shower pressure is rubbish. Oh, I'm not going to say that word out loud. <laughs> oh, another wanker. You don't want to let them call you a wanker, Ted. It's bad. Yeah, oh, we know. What's a wanker? I'm a visual learner, so that's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> what if I join forces with the swashbuckling cat, play tiny guitars for women of the night, as we read Alex Haley's most seminal work. You'd be in cahoots with Puss in Boots, playing lutes for prostitutes, reading roots. <laughs> no, the autobiography of Malcolm X. I got you. All right. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> Are you kidding me? She spun you around like the Tasmanian devil. Yeah, she did, except without all that annoying blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Put her on the team. She's probably in school, though, so she can't be. Best concert. We got Beastie Boys at Horde Fest, 1995. Whoa. You're gonna love this story. Actually, did y'all get the OJ trial over here? Ted, please. <laughs> Who didn't? Caesar, you later. Oh. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's intolerable. I love him. Yeah, yeah, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> hey, oh. yo, hey, guys, let's go, let's go. Go get him, Nate. 
Okay, help How out. do you not love Ted? Come on. There better not be a bunch of notes saying wanker on it. Yeah. Don't time. you dare, Jamie. You're me for you. I hate you. Oh my god. Roy, mate, if you're gonna go to the shower, you should take your sweater off first, pal. <laughs> dick. Dick. He's a dick. This, uh, this is a care package for my little boy. Oh. Maybe someone in here can help cheer you up. Yeah? Okay. Got a uh, small battalion of army men. Supposed to set them up in my apartment to help keep me safe. Aww. Uh, oh, you got some kind of food or something that just teleports you right back home, make you feel all warm and fuzzy? Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, your eyes just lit up. You got an idea. What, what is it? Well, I was just going to say you should go and talk to Keely. I mean, you two have an obvious rapport. If anyone knows Jamie, it's her. See, that's why you're the boss, right? I don't like it. All right, thanks, boss. I appreciate you. I hope you start feeling bad about what you're doing. So you went with the lion, huh? Yeah. It looks cool. <laughs> I look insane. But I do think it's better looked in the panda. Oh, yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Jamie. Mm. Yeah. What would you say motivates him? Blow jobs. Oh, mm. you can't do that, Ted. Is there a second option? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, there's another bite. He responds well to positive reinforcement. That's my wheelhouse. Okay. There you go then. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> go on, give us one more bite. All right, here you go. Yeah. Stop this. Just be careful. Hold on. Yeah, I feel that's a lot of it. Yeah, it's a lot. Fucking of knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I'm very protective of Ted already. Except for one thing, uh, and that's happy birthday, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yeah. <laughs> no, wow. Hey, this is all I used to eat growing up. <laughs> well, we know you haven't been home in a while, so we thought we'd bring some home to you. Are oh, you guys, man? Is she? Is she gone? <laughs> yeah, coach, what's, what's, what's this? <laughs> My little boy gave me a whole bunch of these. Give me a fucking break. Screw you, Jamie. Is it okay if I if I don't keep this? Uh, I don't really have the same fondness for the American military that you do. Oh, Ooh. sure. Yeah, I didn't think about that. To the fans at home, we do apologize for the fruity language. <laughs> Man. Without me, it would have been four nil, you miserable old pricks. And a meaningless consolation goal for Jamie Tart in injury time. Thank you! <laughs> well... Jamie, <laughs> real quick. Regarding Jamie Tart... Positive I haven't known you that long, but I can honestly say you are the best athlete I have ever coached. Oh. Oh. You are truly great at everything you do out there. Except for one thing. My left foot cross. No. Jamie, I think that you might be so sure that you're one in a million that sometimes you forget that out there you're just one of eleven. If you just figure out some way to turn that me into us, the sky's the limit for you. There's a heck of a goal out there, by the way. I really like Ted. Oh, it's fucking embarrassing! Oh, I, I am equally livid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See? You guys suggested it, it got fixed. You know what might convince me? If you told me we got these delicious biscuits. Well, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to bring you more on Monday, now would I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, hope to see you all downstairs. Uh, it's not just me, though, is it? We're a team. I'm just one of 11. Fuck it, yeah, I am taking it pretty hard, you know? <laughs> the rest of them, they're all in there eating cake. Seriously? Yeah, seriously, no, mate. Jamie. The new gaffer's got music on in there. It's like a party. It's a joke. It's a birthday. Get it, Higgins. Oh. I saw the match. Oh, yeah? What'd you think? You were rubbish. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. 
Alright, let me stretch here a little bit. Here we go. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. <laughs> He's so adorable. I hope you feel so bad. The star player's girlfriend and the new manager. Delete, delete, delete. Are you sure you want to do this? He's making it. Do it. Rebecca. And I'm beating. Damn it. I knew Rebecca was going to do that. It was very obvious what was going to happen when she saw Ted with Keely. You can tell that she's struggling with it, though. You can tell that, like, she just wants to get back at her ex-husband and she's so blinded by what happened that, like, she's willing to, like, destroy Ted and he doesn't deserve it. And he's already on the precipice of having a hard time in his relationship and it could cause everything to fall apart. I don't want that for Ted. He's such a light. He's so enjoyable. He's so wonderful. I don't want Ted to go through something bad. Now, somebody who needs to go through something bad might be Jamie. He might need to fall from grace. And I think actually having the pictures of Ted and Keely out there in the press uh, might make him break. I don't think it'll be a good thing, but I definitely think uh, it's going to create tension. That just sucks. That just the whole thing sucks. The way Nathan gets treated sucks. The way, you know, Jamie has treated Sam and the conversation with Ted and Sam, like, you know, like Ted really wants to get to know these men and like really be a part of their lives. And he really wants them to know that he cares about them. And you like, he cares about Jamie the most, it seems like he really wants him to be good and okay. And really, you know, wants him to be a better person. And it's just like, come on. The fact that he's making the biscuits himself. Oh my God. That just, that is, that is such a Southern thing of like, like taking a plate of cookies over to your neighbor and taking a plate of cookies to your boss and, and, and having biscuit time. That's just, I love that for us. I love that for, for her. I mean, she's probably going to get fat off those biscuits. I hope she does get fat off those biscuits. Not that I'm saying that she deserves it, but like, yeah. Gain a couple pounds. Make her fat, Ted. <laughs> and I definitely agree that, like, the tastes of home make you feel good. It's, like, nostalgic. It makes you happy. And, you know, like, I feel like anytime I get a home-cooked meal from my mom, whether it is, you know, uh, my grandma's fried rice or, you know, she makes a stuffed cabbage. Oh, God. Oh, God. But, like, even, even like, casseroles or... <sighs> Gosh, just, just anytime my mom cooks something and I see her in the kitchen cooking it, it automatically tastes better than any way anybody else could ever cook something. So especially for, for Sam's birthday and getting a taste of home, I feel Sam. I feel Sam in that moment a lot. And you know, Ted with the barbecue sauce, like I get it. And how cute is it that his son gave him the little army men to protect him and that he's giving those away to other people. He's just got the biggest heart in the world. He doesn't deserve what's coming. He doesn't deserve to be. <laughs> uh, it's not funny, but it is. They were all chanting wanker at him. <laughs> but like the, the it, it's going to be small changes that that like amount to big changes. So like fixing the shower head and Sam's birthday and and Nathan and you know getting Higgins on his side. Those are like those small things that are going to keep like mounting up to him having this big victory for this football club. Oh God. And hopefully he wins Rebecca over. Hopefully his family doesn't get torn apart by these pictures of Keely. It just sucks. It sucks so bad. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but uh, I'm going to move on to episode three. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get into it. Yeah. Try not to be so happy, Rebecca. 
It would be wonderful if her plan like fell apart and there was no mention of it. Like nobody cares about Ted Lasso. No mention of it, Ben. Nothing. <laughs> Sherry, call shithead. Oh, poor Higgins. I have a branding meeting. So. Oh, I always feel so bad for the cows, but no. you got to do it, otherwise they get lost. You, you are just a delightful man. If we were in Kansas right now, I'd just be sitting here waiting for you to finish laughing. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> know your audience. You go over that way. Yeah. There's something that's coming all the way down. I have no idea how you coach a game and like Crystal drop Powell's plans and have movie. people do them. Mm-hmm. And I think it stinks. <laughs> Get rid of it. Now, you might be wondering, why did I draw all that up there? Just to erase it. And that is because I believe in symbolic gestures. Okay. As do I. <laughs> I am officially on the prowl for any new ideas, you hear? Oh. What you got, Ethan? Uh, no. Uh, so, uh, no, no, God, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Come Speak. on now, though. You're one of us. You know what's embarrassing, even. I just... Sorry. I bet it's I great. Tricky time hearing folks that don't believe in themselves, so I'm asking you real quick again. Do you think this idea will work? Yeah, I do. Whoa, why are you screaming at us? <laughs> so use Jamie as a decoy? No. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, in, yeah, in this case, yes. What, you're going to use my play? Yeah, I mean, we're going to try it on, see if it fits. Call you the know, Nate. Then again, I'm like, ooh, I like this. I like the way this makes me feel. Show me strut, coach. There you go. <laughs> Lots of music yep. with it. Get it, Nate. Get it, Nate. There you go. <laughs> but Jamie is not going to like being a decoy. But I love that for him. I love that for us. The next picture of me will not be this perfect. I'm going to be mid sneeze face. <gasps> <laughs> Guess what the headline will be? Gazoom tight. Jamie's tart <laughs> makes tarts hot. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. I mean, you have no idea the power of rhyming in this goddamn country. <laughs> oh, Paso makes Paso and creates Team Fiasco. Whoa, Kiwi's got bars. Yeah. <laughs> I am cute as a bun and I can rhyme my ass off. God, it's no wonder they want to destroy me. <laughs> Sorry, it took me so long to get up the stairs. <laughs> this woman right here is strong, confident, and powerful. Boss, I tell you, I'd hate to see you and Michelle Obama arm wrestle, but I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off it either. Oh, that's not a compliment I've had before. <laughs> yeah, you do have I love perfect it. Perfect action figure arms. Oh, there's another one. Get her. You're hurting two wonderful people. Sam wide open. There it is. Ooh. Nice job, Nate. Uh, poor Jamie. So we are all going to run two laps around this field. Anyone who loses to me has to run four more. Let's go. Okay, come on. <laughs> what you got? And Coach Beer. I love it. <laughs> you too, Nate. Oh, right, boy. Sorry, Gaffer. <laughs> uh, one last thing. There's some gifts up in y'all's lockers. Your little cubbies up there, so hope you enjoy them. Okay. You listen to it? It's a book. Ooh. Does he have Ender's Game? I love that book. It's a fucking book. Jamie, you dick. Nice one, bitch boy. I love that Roy is, like, not okay with it. So you know already? Yep. So you'll take care of it? No. What the fuck? One, if little Ronnie Fouch offers you a candy bar, you immediately say no and you get the hell out of there. Because there's a good chance that little son of a gun has just pooped inside of a Butterfinger wrapper. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Someone never saw him do it. Number two, if the teacher tells a bully not to pick on someone, it's just going to make it worse. So you're not going to do anything? What are you going to do, Roy? First domino needs to fall right inside that man's heart. Ah, I see the ascension of me actually starting to like Roy Kent. Okay. 
So when they pick on Nate, <laughs> they think it's OK. Right, because Nate's a weak baby and he can't do anything about it. <laughs> Hilarious, huh? Yeah, all right. I'll take care of it. Nate's a good lad. Good. Hey, Roy, you come to the club tonight? Hold on, will you be there? Of course, bro. Then fuck no! <laughs> well... You know how you two are always messing with Nate, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. Makes me laugh. <sighs> Who cares if we can't run that picture? It is an outstanding fan base. Yes. One I believe I can put an end to. Great. <laughs> No. I've seen a lot of football players and they are loyal. There you go. Thank you. So I spoke to the owner of the Sun. You spoke to God? <laughs> In exchange, I've agreed for his more reputable newspaper, The Independent, to do a profile on you. One on one with Coach Lasso. Yeah, yeah. okay. The writer will be Trent Crim. Yeah. Mm. And he's very good and the supporters really listen to him. Oh yeah. no, I know Trent. Yeah. He's a tough cookie. You know what you do with tough cookies, don't you? No. Dunk them in milk. milk. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's run that new one. Yeah, dip this guy in milk. Ted can win anybody over. Even Trent. You want me to run decoy? Yeah, that's right. It's a joke. Unfortunately for you, though, no one thinks it's funny. Is that true? Um, agree Come to disagree. On, Roy. I found it hilarious. I thought it was funnier than Step Brothers. Ooh, high praise. Never seen it. Oh, yeah, there he is. Someone's been walking the dog here. Found another poo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Neat. That young fella's forgotten more about this sport than I'll ever know. <laughs> Heck, might be a genius. Anything to add, coach? Except he's cooking, kicking a turd around. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Come on, Roy. Come on, Roy. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Jamie not talk to you about leaving him alone? He just walking outside in his towel? Oh, at least he's in shorts. How do y'all cowboys? My name is Ted Lasso, and now I'm from Kansas. Wow. Stop it, Roy. Oh, you're like really, really bad at impressions, man. Yeah. I know he's trying to push my buttons, but I cannot be manipulated. You already have been. You actually, if you would listen to I'm me, just to listen, listen to I could tell you why. So tell me. Is that making you mad? <laughs> I'm Roy Kent, and I get paid to play a game, but I'm mad all the time. Grumpy uh. Gus. <laughs> he does seem to always have a scowl. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> you know, I've decided to not be scared of you anymore. Okay, good. I didn't good. know you were. Oh yeah, I was that like, fucking terrified of you. <laughs> oh god, Jamie would have been so pissed off with reporters poking around in our love life. What? No one ever pays a fortune for a photo of a naked man on a yacht in Mallorca a week after his divorce. Whoa, that's like a very specific scenario. Uh-huh. Oh my god, that means there's a picture of you naked on a yacht. Can I see it? Is it here? Please. Oh, I was talking <laughs> to a helicopter while I was sunbathing. I feel like a teenage boy. I can't stop staring at them. Where did you get those? <laughs> My mum. I can't believe you. you stopped this from running. I would have shown everyone. Right. <laughs> Maybe Rebecca needs a friend like Keely. Please welcome the new manager of AFC Richmond, Ed Lasso. Oh. Thank That's you. rough. I appreciate you. All right. Hey, gang, how y'all doing? Wanker. <laughs> Never been much for public speaking. Or school, really. Always seemed like a waste of time to me. Uh. Why don't we get out of this stuffy auditorium, go out on the pitch and have a proper fuck about? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool you do this. I'm doing it with my fucking niece goes here. Oh, yeah? Which one is she? That idiot. Aww. She's not an idiot. <laughs> hey, nice catch. Might have ourselves a goal. Oh, oh. oh boy, oh boy. Good. Right the button. Ah. Good Ooh. job, Phoebe. Oh. She wanted to do headers, not kickers. 
I mean, what even is A Wrinkle in Time? It's the story of a young girl's struggle with the burden of leadership as she journeys through space. Yeah, that's it. Ted! Trent, this is my buddy Ollie. Please meet you. Congrats. You both just met a cool person. Aww. Right, Tony. Are you okay with a little bit of spice? Have them make it for us like we're a couple members of the family. <laughs> You're a brave man. <laughs> I think Trent's starting to like Ted. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You okay, buddy? <laughs> wow. I mean, that's hot. I feel like I'm about to breathe fire. <clears throat> Don't eat more. I think I can eat that. Oh, no, no, come on now. We got to put a decent dent in this. Mm. Otherwise, we're going to embarrass Holly in front of his family. Oh. Tramp, what do you love? Is it writing? Yes. Yeah. Well, good, because you're darn good at it. Thank you. You're welcome. Me? I love coaching. For me, success is not about the wins and losses. It's about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off the field. And it ain't always easy, Tramp. But neither is growing up without someone believing in you. Mm. Let me ask you this. Is my tongue still in my mouth? <laughs> I'm about to hallucinate from all the heat here. You're spitzed. Yeah, it's beyond beautiful. It's hot. <laughs> Mrs. Witch's voice was great. <laughs> Going to the bathroom is going to hurt later. I understand that it has to be me. It can't be anyone else. Fuck! <laughs> That's a bad word, why? That's a good one, though. Business, baby. Oh, he's so mean. Be good. And then he's nice. I have an advanced copy of the article. Read it to me. Title? Wayward Ted. He insisted twice that he didn't care if Richmond won or lost, but if the lasso way is wrong, it's hard to imagine being right. As his coaching style is subtle. It never hits you over the head. <laughs> what I Roy? I didn't know it was a retirement party. Oh, nice. <gasps> Stop messing with Nate. Now, I don't know which one of you are nutted because I don't see so well at night anymore, but that goes for all of you. Whether that means allowing followers I like to become Roy leaders... more than I did before. I won't gloat when it happens. <laughs> because I can't help but root for him. <sighs> <laughs> Fuck! Yes! <laughs> Ah, I love it. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, 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 you're not going to get your wish. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, indeed. Uh, yep. Yep. He won me over like just this first time I saw him. Just his smile. One over. One over completely. He's going to do it to every single person. Uh, even Roy with Wrinkle in Time and like pretty much saying like you're the leader that this team needs. And he's the captain. He should be doing that, actually. Uh, I love that Nate is kind of the catalyst for a lot of this, whether it's the way he's being treated or the fact that he came up with the play that he did. And I love that. I love that he's so prominently part of the team because you can tell how much he loves it. And you can tell how much, you know, Ted and Coach Beard love having him around. They definitely appreciate them. They're just two good people. They're just really good people. <laughs> They're good people, they recognize good people, and they recognize the good in people. So even if you're kind of a daft prick like Jamie, there's probably something good inside of him. I don't know what it is. I have yet to see it. Um, but, you know, I, I was like, I, I can't believe people think I'm going to like Roy Kent. I don't hate him anymore. I was just kind of like, God, this guy, like, just come on, come on, come on, come on, give me something, give me something. And then he'd do something and I'm like, yay. And then it'd be like... He'd ruin it with opening his mouth. <laughs> but definitely uh, in the bar, headbutting somebody and, and making a point uh, to Jamie, I think is uh, awesome. Now, I don't know what's happening with him and Keeley. Uh, I don't know if it's good, if it's bad. I, I'm going to guess it's bad for Jamie. Uh, but uh, you know what? Jamie needs a, he, he needs some he needs a dose of his own medicine. Um, you know, having to be the decoy uh, for the play, I think, is fantastic. We know that he thinks highly of himself and that he should probably uh, always be the, 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 the scorer. Oh, God, I don't know soccer terms. 
the running back running into the end zone. Okay. He's the one that should always be kicking the ball into the goal. Uh, so being a decoy, I think actually would work out really well for him because although other players would shine, I think that, um, it would show that he's got, uh, I don't want to say team spirit, but that he's being one of 11 and like Rebecca, I'm glad she killed the picture of Ted and Keeley. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Keeley actually had somebody playing defense for her, uh, to let her know about it and then to keep it out of the papers for a day. Uh, that worked out really, really well because then Rebecca had to kill it and then had to give an article <laughs> to Trent of all people, which I was like, oh, yeah, I hate Trent, but I have a feeling Ted's going to do his Ted Lasso magic and it's going to win him over some way, somehow. I love it. I love Ted. I love Ted so much. I just want to hug him. Every time I see him, I want to hug him. I want to give him some Rolaids and some Pepto-Bismol after this episode maybe some Imodium and definitely, uh, some wet wipes. Um, but, uh, I, 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 I love Ted. I love Ted. Like him just like eating traditional Indian food, even though he's never had it before, but because his Uber driver had mentioned the restaurant. And so he went to the restaurant and he ate the food and he's just like, I don't care how much it hurts me. I'm eating this food. Give me what, give me the food on your plate. Like that is just the sweetest thing in the world. Oh God. He can do no wrong. He really can't. What are we going to do about Jamie? What are we going to do about Jamie? I really like Sam. I'm digging Sam. Uh, I, I want to like Jamie. I didn't think I'd like Keely. She was annoying the first couple times that she popped up because I thought she was just going to be like a dumb bimbo. And she still is kind of a dumb bimbo, but like not in a like she's dense. She's just kind of ditzy. Um, like her just like sitting down on Rebecca's couch and just being like, like, I was afraid of you. Not anymore. You know, and like, let me see your tits. You know, just like, 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 I love, I'm, my brain is melted from your big, beautiful breasts. Like, I, <laughs> I adore her. And the fact that she had that moment with Rebecca and you could see that Rebecca like thoroughly enjoyed having that conversation with her and having the compliment from another woman. I think it actually helps. Like those compliments never come well from men ever, ever ever. <laughs> oh, poor Higgins. Poor Higgins. Poor Higgins. He is so afraid of Rebecca. And, uh, uh, I, 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 I like how he, um, is afraid of her and wants to like do a good job, but also like, he's always in the position of being the messenger, like giving like the bad news. Like she's going to kill the messenger one day and him reading the story to her and revealing that, you know, Trent is saying all these things that seem like it should be a negative thing or a bad thing about Ted. And then getting to the end, it's just like, cause I'm rooting for him to win. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. He wins people over just from being himself. I think that that is amazing and wonderful. And th there's just something about him that just, just feels like a hug. You know what? Chicken soup for the soul was right, but he just feels like a hug, doesn't he? Just a Southern mama hug. Just, just, oh, you could just get right in there, snuggle right into the bosom. That was a bit much. <laughs> okay, guys, if you want to watch the full length reaction to these episodes, it will be available on my Patreon. The link is down below. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. <sighs> How did you feel about all these characters? Because I feel like um, my mind is kind of set about Jamie that he's kind of a prick. Uh, Keely, I was like, mm, she's annoying. And then I'm like, ooh, ooh, I like her. As soon as she started fixing the sign, I was like, she's actually kind of sweet, I think. What did you think of Roy when you first met him? Because I am still kind of undecided. I feel like I'm going to like him. I feel like everyone's saying you're, you're going to love Roy Kent. It might be a true thing, but right now I'm... I need some solid evidence, not just one or two occurrences. I need it to be concurrently. I need it to be a regular thing. Um, but uh, I, I instantly fell in love with Nate, instantly fell in love with Ted. Coach Beard doesn't say much, but I appreciate him a lot. And then Rebecca. And then Rebecca. She is broken. She is sad. And she's fighting all the urges that she has to care about Ted. And I think... Her caring about Ted is going to be the thing that probably helps this team out the most. So it's going to happen, Rebecca. You're going to fall in love with them just like we did.
<laughs> and poor Higgins. Poor, poor Higgins. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'll see ya.